obviously winning is fun. Um, coming to the rink uh, has been great. And the reason for it is oh, the guys are, are in a good place mentally right now. Um, they understand the amount of work that uh, has to be done on a daily basis uh, and they uh, they buy into uh, what we're trying to do it's it's uh, really a, a focus on what has to be done today in order to be successful to develop players to develop individual uh, individuals and um, like the coaching staff has been uh, doing a great job the assistant coaches and when I talk about the coaching staff, the assistant coaches, um, management, it, you know, it's just the mindset is right. And it's very positive right now. We're building on, on something that is uh, long term and um, coming to the rink uh, is uh, it's always fun. That's what I do for a living. But when you're winning, it's even much better. Has the success come as a bit of a surprise or? Um, I guess you never know what to expect before the season starts. Like if you, you would have told me we would be playing for 750 after 24 games and the best goal differential in the league uh, after 24 games, I, I would have been surprised. But seeing those guys work and the way they gel as a team and then they buy into what we want to do as a team, it's it's not only one detail, it's a lot of little details that are falling in place. Um, I'm not surprised today on how we play, but uh, maybe a training camp, uh, I don't think anybody could have expected uh, that kind of results. For years, we heard from this team that it was development first. Yes. How much easier is it to do that when you're winning, you're having success on the ice? Well, it's, it, of course, winning games is, is the final result, but it's the, the, the focus on, on draft and develop and, and developing those guys and talking to those guys and going over video with them um, as a team, as individuals, with the assistant coaches. Um, you know, that's that's the process. But when you win, then they, they, you build a confidence in, in, in the systems, in the big picture that, OK, it works. And uh, it helps for sure. It helps uh, the, the, the younger guys to develop develop that winning uh, culture, winning mentality. But in winning, when I say winning, it's not the end result. It's the process, what we do on a daily basis, winning a practice, winning a drill. Um, um, you know, going in the gym and, and, and being successful in the gym with a purpose, working with a purpose. Because working hard, only working hard, is not, is, it's not enough. Everybody does. You do, uh, everybody does. It's working hard with uh, the right purpose, and, and the guys are, are doing a great job. With seven days off between games, what's kind of the focus now during this little bit of a break? Well, um, it, it's, it's a good time for us, uh, for us to... Um, um, rest some guys. Uh, there's some bumps and bruises, uh, so that's first thing first. Um, we're gonna. We had um, team activity yesterday uh, at the zoo. Uh, it's important for our players to get involved in the community. We'll do the same thing Wednesday morning, serving breakfast, and we. I mean, it's it's really uh, a good time for us to give back. Uh, but as far as a team, uh, we're going to have a hard practice tomorrow um, and then two more practices before the first game. And we're gonna, just going to revisit our foundation, our routes, making sure we're sharp and ready for the next game. Pascal, uh, there's, I think, often been a mindset that if your NHL team is going really strong, that it's going to perhaps affect the AHL team on the belief that you know, maybe it leaves the, the cupboards a little bare. Vice versa, if your AHL team is going really strong, maybe it's it's a sign of good things to come for the NHL team, but maybe they're not doing so good. So to see both squads where they are right now, really pretty much at the top of each league, how remarkable and unusual is that? And do you see a lot of symmetry right now between the two clubs? Well, it's... We've been... I've been here for seven years since day one of the Jets, and... and the management, uh, Kevin Cheveldayoff, Larry Simmons, and Craig Heisinger, and those guys have been had a plan and a vision in mind. And uh, 
was hard. It, it was hard on a daily basis to, um, not win and, and, and give to Winnipeg what we uh, wanted for them. And, and to stick to the plan is, is a real credit. It goes to our scouts and our managers, uh, general managers, and then our people having that vision. Uh, right now it's paying off. And, and, and we know this game can humble you in no time. Right now we're in a good place, and, but that's today. Tomorrow uh, there's a lot of work to be done and then and we have to, you know, uh, keep things in perspective here. But it's the results are, are showing that the plan was right, and and uh, sticking to uh, the vision of, of Chevy and his group uh, is what we all believe in in the first place. But it, it was tough not to to win games uh, as consistent as we do right now, and and for now to have. Uh, I mean, it, the Jets is, is, our, is our big team. It, it's, that's why we exist, the Moose. We're here to develop players and then to create a good culture when the players go up to and, and play for the Jets. They're, they're ready and, and they have the same mentality. So for us to win some games, for them to win games, it's, it's everything is... It, the, the synergy between the two teams is awesome because we're, we're all on the same page and it's playing the same kind of systems, uh, having the same kind of practices, having the same words, the same mentality, uh, creating the same mental foundation. Um, it's good and it's, it's, it's paying off now, but it was a lot of, uh, it still is a, lots of hard work, uh, but now it's paying off.